Rainbow, baby. And you know, I just got those, uh, the new uh, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 um, tires. I just got them joints installed. So they're 305s. So now I need to test them out and check and see, are they really any good? So I put them back on the same rim, no issues, got it done at Dodge. One Dodge said no, the other said yes. That Dodge, they, they claim to be a performance shop, so that's probably why they did it for me. But they took care of me up there at the Waldorf Dodge, shout out to them. So what I have to do now, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna test these out. I'm gonna do a couple uh, zero to 60 runs, see if I can beat that, beat my best time. My best time with the Pirelli all season, the P-Zeros that come stock on the uh, scat pack. Um, I, the, my best time was a four and a half, four and a half seconds to get to zero, zero to 60. So I'm gonna test it out, see if I can beat that. I should be able to beat it. It's a warm day, but it, and it's cool. The ground, so the ground should be kind of warm. The car, the tires should be warmed up, and the air temperature is pretty cool. So I should get good, good horsepower and good contact, good traction today. So I'm gonna, I'm getting to my spot here in a minute, and I'm gonna do a couple runs. I'm gonna let you see what the tires look like from the outside. Definitely gives it a beefier, badder look on the car. Definitely more aggressive looking tread on the tires. They look great. I love the way they look. That's the number one thing on the first impression. Now, are they better than the Pirellis? We're gonna find out. I'm about to test these out, let you get a good look at them up close while they're grinding, trying to catch traction. figured that might help hold the car down so I'm gonna take that sand out I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna try it again at 1400 rpm see if I can't move a scoot a little faster but I think that sand is I put it evenly over each tire in the in the trunk I'm gonna try I'm gonna see but I, I think that sand helped hold the car down to the road to be honest with you so I'm gonna try it one more time with 1400 rpm but I'm gonna dump the sand out of the back and uh, so I'm gonna give it one more shot. Hopefully these uh, these firestorms don't let me down. So far, I don't know, man. I mean, they were less than the Pirellis and they're summer tires, not all season. I don't plan on driving this car right here for another winter. Beyond that, back to this, that freaking sand, man. I'm gonna take the sand out and I'm gonna try it one more time and it will, that's what it is. We just gonna know. I'm gonna give it a rating. At the end, is it better? Is it worse than the Pirellis? Should you buy these or should you just pay a little bit more money and get the nid get the nittos, as everybody else says? Um, I've been told, don't, don't waste any time with anything else. So I'm trying these out. They're okay so far. It's the last one. As you can see here, I'm getting some really bad spin right there. Like it just, I don't know what it is, man. I'm just getting so much spin right there. I know I just wanted to plant and go. Plant and go, you know what I mean? Plant and go. Four and a half seconds again. So 1,400 RPM without the sand, four and a half seconds. So I, I dropped 200 pounds and still went the same. It skirted a little bit more. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But that's the best I can do right now, four and a half, man. Maybe at the track, so I'll try it at the track in a couple weeks. I should be able to make a run within the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I'll get to the track. 
and be able to beat that time. But four and a half seconds, that's it. That's the best I've done so far. I've seen it a little bit better. Let me know in the comments what should I what should I try? Like should I try uh lower RPM 1200? That seems way too low. And then higher 1600 might be too high. You know what I mean? So just let me know in the comments. But uh I'm gonna say for these uh firestones, I'm gonna go with they're pretty good. They're better than the Pirellis for sure. They're definitely better than the Pirellis, but they're not as good as what I thought they were gonna be. The next time I need tires, I'm gonna try the Nitos and see, you know, see how those work out. But these are okay. I like them so far. I'm not trying not to burn them up too much, too fast. But uh, yeah, these tires are expensive, man. All right, so new day, different location. Just did 4.3 zero to 60. About to show you. All right, so there it is. My last run, 4.3, zero to 60. I let off the gas. I didn't do the whole quarter, just did the zero to 60 because I just I had, to, I had to do it. All right, so the temperature is lower today. It's at 61 degrees. I think yesterday was somewhere around like um, 70 degrees or so, but today it's a little bit cooler. So maybe I got a little bit more horses up under there. So I dropped it down to 4.3 and I can still do better. I can still do better, but it, the, the tires caught really, really well. I mean, they did really, really well on that run right there. All right, y'all, there you have it. That was my zero to 60 test for the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s. And I think it's pretty good. I think they're pretty good. I th and um, it's just on a random day, I would normally do about a 4.7 with the Pirellis. And I was consistently 4.5, 4.5, 4.5 um, with these. So it's a little bit better, of course. It's just a little bit more traction. So it gave me a little bit more, you know, ease to get to 4.5. Because with the Pirellis, I was anywhere between 5 flat and 4.7. So this setup gives me the 4.5 consistency. I'm going to get 4.3 at some point, 4.2, 4.1. I'm going to get down there. I just have to, I'm gonna tweak it, get some, you know what I mean? Maybe do some driver mod, you know what I'm saying? Try to figure out what's going on with me internally so I can figure this thing out. What's holding me back from greatness? That's what I need to figure out. Cause I gotta have a fast car off the line. Cause I got, so I switched up the tires with the hopes that you know that then it would assist in uh, giving me a little bit more traction off the line, so I could be ready for anything. You know what I'm saying? In case I have to get out of there in an emergency situation, you never know. You know what I'm saying? So, but but anyway, guys, I, I like the I like the consistency with these tires. It's giving me consistent 4.5s. Um, it's giving me a good consistent 4.5, which is not bad. You know what I mean? It's not bad. 4.50 to 60, I can count on, and uh, I'm gonna get it lower than that. I'm gonna figure out, figure it out. So I need to do that, and uh, and then I'll, I don't know. Eventually, I'm gonna post up that 4.1, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be happy then. That 4.1, 4.0. I really just want to get the four flat. If I can get the four flat, and it's just a little bit of wheel spin. If I can get that little bit of wheel spin out of there, man, I could get that four flat. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, that's been my video for the day. I'm Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Mr. Fully Auto, and I'm gone.